Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys a fun paper craft item you can find at Daiso in Japan. And this is for making those fun, um, you know, paper flowers. And uh, this is some that are already uh, ready to go and you just have to assemble them yourself, which is really nice. And um, it has a really cute color theme too, I thought. These are some really pretty colors, not just your standard, you know, you know, pink and blue and stuff like that. So it was kind of caught my eye because I thought, well, that's kind of nice to have it all ready to go for you. Um, so, you, you know, you can buy tissue paper and cut it to the size you want and uh, lay them out and do the accordion folding, which can take a little while. And I've done a tutorial of how to make those, but these are always great kits. And you wind up getting to make 12 uh, flowers, which is really nice. So I thought I'd show you guys really quick here what they look like. And then they also kind of recommend, see they even have, they even have this on there for you. That's nice. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. And it's nice because it even has a twisty on it already. I mean, you're good to go. You need no supplies. The nice thing that it talks about on the back here with the instructions is that you can also cut the uh, paper that you see here to create an edge. Now, if you ask me, that's a lot of paper to cut through all at once, but they say that if you wanted to, you can make a little snip here. Um, I don't think I have scissors that could do that. Maybe I'd have to do it in parts or something, but... Um, but you can, you know, by making like a little sharp point or making a rounded one, you get a nice little edge to the flower that's a little different. So all, if you're not familiar with how to do this, all you do is just kind of fan out what you're working with here. And then you just take one layer of tissue at a time, pulling gently forward towards the center, making sure you pull uh, as close towards the center as you can so that as you get further into the project, you're going to have a hard time uh, and it's just a simple process of pulling these up until you can get all the pieces over to create your flower and it doesn't like you don't want to pull it too tight you do want a little bit of looseness to it I think these are only made with paper the, these have seven sheets of paper in them so they're not a very like sometimes if you make them with more paper you get like a really tight kind of flower this is meant to be a more loose one, especially since you're using this kind of paper. Uh, it's nice. When you use tissue, if you use, if you, use uh, you know, t facial tissue, uh, you kind of need a little, I think it looks better when you have a little more to it because then you can get like a, more like almost like a pom-pom kind of flower from it. Whereas with this, it has that tissue paper in it and it stays where it's supposed to so much nicer. And I cannot get the next layer here. That's the hardest part about doing these, getting the silly layer of paper to separate. <laughs> but it just creates that beautiful flower and uh, makes for such a pretty decoration, I think. so. And it's just a nice, easy way to, especially if you have a color theme for a party that you're trying to match up for, then you can do this and you don't have to worry about, you know, finding something at the store. And even if you tear it, like I did now, when you're done, you're not even going to notice that because all the layers are just sort of going to eat up whatever mistake you make. So don't fret. Don't worry if you do have a little problem like that. I do that all the time because I'll make a bunch of these when I'm watching TV or something, you know. Um, I just made some for my daughter's birthday and you can, it's a nice alternative to having to buy balloons or, um, fake flowers, silk flowers and stuff, that can get kind of costly. If you're just looking for a quick decoration of a place, it can be really cool. See, and in, in no time I'm done, the last level, you're just looking at it like this, you're just gonna, gonna pull it out so that it's straight and you get this nice flat surface on the bottom of your flower. And then when you look at it, it looks like this. And you can kind of bring it in together if you wanna make it more poofy or fill, kind of stretched out but that is how you make a paper flower with this kind of a kit and it's really nice I think if you're visiting here and you're interested in these kinds of things or I know there's more and more Daiso popping up all over the place um, these might even be available at the dollar store now I don't know it's a it's a great fun simple project to have and you get to make you know 12 of them from it which is a really good good kit and it comes with the twisty ties all ready to go so a perfect fun little way um, and they do recommend here the idea of making a pom-pom where you make two 
and connect them together so that you can make like a big round ball. A really, really cute idea. So uh, lots of fun ways that you can use it to decorate. So I uh, just kind of wanted to share it with you guys. It's a great, fun, one of my classic favorite kinds of paper crafts that I remember from when I was a kid. So um, I'll have some more fun things to share with you guys in the days to come. Thanks again always so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.